All right. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. All right, we're going to wait for some people to sign on. Um, it is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Valentine's Day. Woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, a couple people. Who's first? Christine, my girl. Happy Valentine's Day. Yay. We have, I, I don't know if you've made this before, Christine, but we are going to make uh, the Devotion Angel food cake because I thought, what not the best day to make angel food cake because I was really trying to figure out what can I make for you guys that will still make you feel like you're partaking in the fun, in the fun on Valentine's Day, but still stay on plan because we, yes. we still have a couple more days and then we have an extra week. You guys saw your bonus, right? Um, hi, Sam. Hi, Christine. Danica. Everyone's here. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to make angel food cake, but before we, we're going to do that first, and then we're going to do the questions because I want to make sure that we get this made in, in the oven, and then we will answer questions during that time. And we also have a special guest today. Um, you guys remember, where are you, Crystal? I'm right here. There you are. <laughs> where, are you? Where, are you? where are you over there? <laughs> All right, if you guys remember Crystal talking about when she went out to Minnesota, Minnesota. there you go, mm -hmm. Minnesota, Minnesota, and um, her niece, Jasmine, her beautiful niece is here visiting, and so, Jasmine, there Hi. she is, isn't she so beautiful? Mm -hmm. uh, so, Crystal's going to share with you a little bit about her journey, kind of where she is in uh, the health nutrition journey, and um, but we will talk to Jasmine and kind of go through that while the angel food cake is the oven okay this is epic you guys jasmine loves angel food cake and so she's learning all about how to eat healthier so it's like oh my god perfect valentine's day you love angel food cake my favorite thing to do is to prove to people that you can still have the things that you love it's just finding ways to be creative and make them so here we go you guys ready okay so i'm excited too. yeah and crystal's been wanting me to make this recipe so it was like a perfect recipe for today for valentine's day so we are going to share the love and make this with love and do it you ready? Yeah. And eat it with love. Okay, so you guys, this is so easy. All right, so I'm going to put them to work. So basically what Crystal did was she already put um, seven egg whites in this mixer. So this is just seven egg whites. That's it. So this cake, you guys, you can have, this is a half of a serve. This is a full, this is two servings. So you can have half the cake for any protein meal. You guys ready? You're going to have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this here and... Uh, you need this guy. Uh, yes, I do need that guy. Thank you. All right, so it's gonna get a little loud here for a second. Well, not really loud, but that's okay. All right, it's not too bad. Um, so we can kind of talk a little bit while it's going. So you want to put seven egg whites in a mixer, and I put it over there so it's not like right here. You're gonna mix it, mix it, mix it until those eggs get really frothy. You know what I'm talking about when they form those peaks. So it's gonna mix, I don't know, we'll, I'll just check it, but maybe three minutes or so. That's the key, right? Getting yeah. them peaking. You wanna get them to peak, so you don't want them to be like that liquid egg white, you want them to have that, almost like a big giant cloud. And if you don't have a kitchen egg, you can just do it with a hand mixer? Yes, Okay. yes. Mix it, mix it, mix it, hand mixer, just for quite a long time. Um, all right, so while that is making, so you wanna just see yeah. how it? Yeah, so Jasmine yeah, lives in Minnesota, Yeah. and um, I was out there in October. Some of you, um, many of you know the circumstances. Um, and with my with losing my sis. And so Jasmine came out, was about four weeks ago now? Mm -hmm. Four weeks ago now to stay with me for nine weeks. And, um, you know, my family, one little thing about my family is they're so amazing. Mm -hmm. They, um, in so many ways, and they're so loving, and they're so uh, fabulous. However, fabulous, hashtag fabulous, but one thing that my family has never been really um, super good with is, is how to eat healthy. And uh, I grew up with all the hot, the, the Midwest hot dishes, you know, the 17 course meals because everybody was bringing a dish, <laughs> right? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> and so, um, you know, Jasmine has never really had any kind of formal education on what it is to to eat eat for your health, eat for purpose, um, other than just to eat what tastes good and um, no regulation as to how much is too much. And so my goal for her was to just really kind of educate her on coming from absolutely no awareness whatsoever 
to what it is to eat for, as Gina teaches, to eat for purpose and to eat for your health. You know, Jasmine, we talk about, you know, our family genetics aren't the, aren't the skinny family genetics. You know, we have, a, we have a few token family members that are small, but I would say the majority of us, you know, we're, we're a Swedish, predominantly Swedish, you know, German um, root family. And so, you know, there, we just like our food and, and, you know, being that full figured is just, that's just what's normal. However, with Jasmine, she's so beautiful and she's so time, time out. out, time out. Cause I, I'm going to keep mixing. I just want to say, I'm going to add cream of tartar. So one teaspoon cream of tartar. What is cream of mix. tartar do? It's going to help with the fluffiness. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Keep going. Nope, that's good. <laughs> fluffiness, cream of tartar for fluffiness. Um, so for her, I just, you know, I, she's, she is what we say big and extremely beautiful, big attitude, big positivity, big, um, create creative person. Like everything about Jasmine is big and big is beautiful. And she's got a very optimistic, positive, strong self-esteem. What you say you do? Yeah. Yeah. She has a very strong self-esteem. And so what my goal was to just really educate her how to be healthy that there is no perfect size, there is no, you have to look skinny, you have to fall into some sort of cookie cutter shape, but it's about how you can eat for your health. And being just 19 years old, she's got many, many years, and I want her to just learn. So we're not doing any specific diet plan, I'm just educating her. And having Gina in our lives is amazing because she gets to teach us how to do these great recipes that we can enjoy oh look at that yeah so that's, that's just um the, the, you guys this you are going this is so to cool okay you love me yes you are going to freaking love me after we make this recipe because right. you guys can have this all day and day all right i didn't mean to interrupt no we're, we're gonna, gonna we'll keep we're, we're gonna keep going because i, I want to get this in the oven but you see how it's got like the peaks Right? It's got, it has to form these peaks. And that's just egg white. This is egg white and a teaspoon of tartar. of tartar. Okay? Now, here's the kicker, though, you guys, is I hope all you guys have angel food cake because I've never tried this with any other protein, and this is it's kind of key. pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. So now you're going to take one tablespoon of, um, of angel food cake, and we're just going to – you have to kind of just put it in here – Gently, so here, why don't you just kind of sprinkle it like just gently, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. just fold this in, like so. You just want to fold. You don't want to mix because you don't want to mix or you don't want to mess up the uh, fluff. the fluff. fluff. Exactly. This actually does look like I thought. I thought <laughs> it was fluff. Or something. Jasmine knows what fluff is. Now. She got yeah. she got turned over to the dark side, or I should say the no, light the side. Light side. Okay. All right. Doing that okay. Yeah. Perfect. So we're just folding this in, and then Jasmine, do you want to open up two of these? Yeah. Those are, I'm going to use um, two flex flavors. You can use two to four. And, of course, you can use whatever you're in the mood for. So I'm going to do birthday cake today. But last night I made this and made, I used butter, golden Ooh, butter. So it was like brulee. creme brulee. Yeah, it was really good. So it just really, really depends on what you're in the mood for. Okay, and you don't want to over mix. Just fold, okay? I, the folding is so annoying. It's like, really, am I even doing anything? You just got to gently fold, okay. fold. And fold and fold. Are we ready for those? Yeah, just pour them. Yep, pour those in. So this is two angel food um, birthday cakes. And uh, like I said, you can use any flex flavor. Last night I did butter. It was amazing. It was like a butter pound cake. Look yeah. at this. All right, so I'm just folding. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So good. All right, if you guys have made this, you know what I'm talking about, but if you haven't, you're like, really? Is this really happening? <laughs> it is. Okay, so now I have this, uh, the oven's preheated at 350, and I have this bunt cake pan, and I'm just going to put this in here. Yep, just going to put it all in here. So, I mean, this looks like real angel food cake, right? Oh, my gosh, exactly. It's dead on, and it's 100% pure protein. You guys can literally have this every day. So you can have your cake every single day, and... Do it too. Have your cake and eat it too. I mean, literally. 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 <laughs> That's the word of the day. Literally. Okay. So, I know you love angel food cake, Jasmine. Yes. <laughs> okay, so check this out. So here it is. Here's the angel food cake. It looks so perfect, right? Crystal, you want to capture a photo of that maybe? Yeah. Okay. We must. We must. Okay, just try that. 
Crystal. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Right? Taste. I'm sorry, I'm going for it. Mmm. Yum. Okay, Crystal's capturing a photo. And now we are going to place this in the oven for about 20 minutes. I forgot to do one thing. Okay, there we go. So 20 minutes, I'm gonna Ooh. set my timer. Sorry, sorry, Crystal. Say, don't burn yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna set it actually for about 17 and we'll check on it there. 17 minutes. 17 minutes, there we go, okay. So now we can answer questions, talk a little bit more to Jasmine, just share the love. Um, and then I also wanted to share with you one other um, recipe, just in case you don't have a mixer or you just don't have the time to make this really easy cake. Um, I'll share with you one other recipe, okay? So how's it? Hi, Jennifer. Yay, for those of you, Julie. Happy Valentine's Day, Dolores, Nancy. Yay, you made it, Nancy, finally to a live. Awesome. Hi, Tammy, Lauren. Oh my gosh, we have so many people. Sam, what is that? Oh, drink up. Are you telling us to drink our water? Uh, good reminder. I'm only on <laughs> coffee right now. Oh no, first coffee. Oh, I love my water bottle apart. I don't know, that's either sweat, like I'm sweating, or that's, that's drink up. I took it as a drink up because I'm not sweating. It's raining here. Um, okay, so, oh, Jasmine said she forgot her water in yeah. the car. So we cannot let her go without water. Wow. There you go, girlfriend. Get I <laughs> um, how much water do you normally drink? I drink Honest. I drink, She's I drink a lot of water. Like, do you? I have oh. a big hydro flask and I drink at least like two or three a day. Oh, good. So she's I want to drink a lot. Good. More. She's way better than me. Awesome. She's got the water thing down. <laughs> Good. Okay, that's awesome. Um, I love how Crystal is fully, like, she's getting Jasmine to go to the gym and just do little things, like baby steps, which is what we always talk about, just, you know, getting five minutes. So I'm like, okay, I, lo I love how you think, Crystal, because if she was to have Jasmine come out here and put her on a machine and say, okay, 45 minutes, go, and she's not used to this, not only is her body going to be like, what are you doing to me, but she's going to be like, this sucks, right? Well, so like, you know what we did that I think you would, you know, would totally... <laughs> Um, agree with is I put a heart rate monitor on her right away. And oh, so I watched how quickly with very minimal activity, her heart rate shot up into like the 180s, 190s, where you would think, oh, push it so much harder than that. You can do it harder. But her heart rate was skyrocketed with very minimal. Yeah. So it helps me to gauge to monitor where her. she's at. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, that's a good, that's a really good point too, especially with somebody that's just starting out because you're like, push through it, you can do this. And it's like, actually, based on her heart rate, you know, she's got to slow it down. So I love that you did that, Crystal. That's a good time to use a heart rate monitor. Uh, but she's starting slow, and would you say that you're, like, kind of getting a little bit of the bug? Like, you're kind of, like, this yeah. feeling good? I ask her, I'm like, are we going to go to the gym today? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. <laughs> I love she's that. She's getting me to go that quickly. <laughs> I like it. I'm like, See, yeah. baby steps. It's the small things every day. Okay, so we have a few questions, um, and then I'll share with you one other simple, quick recipe. All right, so the first question says, do you have any, this is from Taylor, do you have any specific advice for women age 50 plus? I'm finally at an age, just turned 50, where I feel like I do not have the same body that I used to have. Diet and energy level in particular have become real changes when they never used to be, thanks. Okay, so great question, and I know that this is something that comes up very frequently with people that are older and are just, you know, they're, they feel like they had energy when they were young, and then as they get older, they're like, my metabolism changes. And I think there is definitely some validity to your body changing and hormones change and Absolutely. all of that. Right? I'm, I mean, I'm right 34, right so now. speak to somebody 47. who's 47. <laughs> um, things do absolutely change, no doubt. Yes. Um, however, we have some people who are VIPs who are beyond 60 and who are in ridiculous shape and who prove that, yes, things change, but if you still stay in control and food is the lifestyle. I just firmly believe in our lifestyle. If you stay on plan and you're following a healthy diet and you're exercising daily and you're not letting that excuse get in the way because part of it's real and part of it's excuse, I'm just going to say, um, where I think that we're so used to just like hearing like, oh, my metabolism, uh, like my mom, she's not on here, but if she was, I'd still say it. You know, she's <laughs> always like, oh, my tummy, you know, oh, age, she's blaming age constantly. That's my sister. 
And she looks fantastic. Yeah. yeah. But I'm like watching her choices. And mind you, she does make pretty good choices. But I'm like the wine, the croissants, the pasta, like all these things. I'm like, really? Like there is something to be said about age. I understand metabolism does change, hormones shift. But let's be real with ourselves. So the answer to your question, um, embrace where you are. I think that's number one. And just continue to make the smart choices. Continue to stay active. And, you know, just, just stay consistent. That's really what I have to say about that. And those of you that are over 60, um, Cecilia, she's phenomenal. Yeah. She posts pictures all the time. Yeah. Look at her. Yeah. She is in phenomenal shape. So I maybe Cecilia. Her. Yeah. She's, yes. She's the bomb. Incredible. Um, so yeah, so I say just stay consistent with what we're doing and don't let what you hear and what you read become who you are and how you think mm -hmm. or see on social media. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. The next one is, okay. This is a simple question. Simple answer. Gina, I really enjoyed being in the VIP during the challenge. What happens to the non VIP people who are here in the challenge? I'm interested in staying a VIP member and want to know what to do next. I'm so excited that you um, have loved the journey. Um, basically, it's as simple as you just sign up to be a VIP, and then you get to take advantage of our page and the workouts and our challenges that we do and all of the love that we share mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So it's really that simple. Just make sure you sign up for the VIP. Um, everyone, you will get removed from the, this page if you do not continue because it's a special little place where um, I want to keep those that are a part of the tribe you know, keep it an exclusive little group. So just sign up and I'm excited that you're going to join us. And remember, we did not come this far to only come this far. And that is that's going right. to be like, that's a good one. Yeah. That's my favorite quote right now. Cause Love that's it. where we are in the journey where we've come so far. Like Jasmine, this is perfect for you. Like when you go home, mm -hmm. you've come so far, right? Like you started making good choices and you started to incorporate, you know, portions and just learning. And so it's like, you came so far. That was nine weeks of you making those changes mm -hmm. and it's like that's a huge milestone and so it's like you didn't come this far now to go back to go back to your old ways yeah right you gotta keep it going yeah and she said that she'll just i'm like you always have me and she goes i'm gonna be calling you all the time i'm like that's fine yeah yeah she got your and number too. here yeah that's what we're all here and for yeah. so it's like if you have a question you just ask and that's what we're here for but it's like you just gotta keep the ball rolling otherwise you're gonna go backwards and then it's the hardest part is getting started and getting that ball or that boulder moving. And then once it's moving, which by nine weeks, it's gonna be kind of in motion and you just wanna keep it in motion. Yeah. Otherwise, and so I'm putting that on a grander level too, her being 19, I'm like, you, this is the prime time to have this education and roll with it because age doesn't play in your favor when with this type of journey, it plays against you. No, granted, she's got many years, but like with hormones, with changes, with babies, oh, with yeah. things in life start that now. happen, yeah. start now. Yeah, yep. it's never too late to start, but the sooner you can start, and I'm grateful that I was able to start young, um, it makes it easier. So no matter where you are, Absolutely. you can always start, but it does make it easier if you start and start to kind of embed those habits into who you are and what you do. Absolutely. Um, okay, so let's just check on this. We still have some time, but check that out. Are you can. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, okay, next thing I just want to share a quick mug cake, because I know that all you guys know how to make a mug cake. Um, this is another I great, like oh, I don't, yeah. hey, so this is good. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> um, sometimes I feel like you guys already know my tricks, and so this is fun. Okay, um, mug cake. So very, very simple, no sugar. Um, you have a, We all have chocolate cravings, Valentine's Day, who doesn't, right? Um, and so we're going to make a little mug cake, and um, I'm going to do it with, Crystal, can you grab me an yes. egg? We'll do it with an egg white. Okay. So this is going to make a little mug cake. So this is another way to satisfy that craving on that sweet tooth today when you've got chocolate surrounding you and you're like, I really want, but I can't, but I want, but I can't, <laughs> but you can now. Okay. So here's the scoop of brownie batter. And then I'm going to do one egg white. I've actually made this. I, I make it all the time, more of like a warm pudding mug cake without the egg white. But since we're doing it, we want to make it a, a little bit more perfect for Jasmine. Um, we're going to do the real mug cake. Okay, so there we go. And then I'm going to simply mix this up and see, we might add a little bit of water. Every microwave is different. So one of the common questions that we get a lot with de at Devotion is, okay, I've made the mug cake, but it came out really dry. It's like, well, then you need to add another egg white. You need to add a touch of water. You need to turn down your microwave level or turn it up depending. Um, but just, you know, you gotta perfect it based on 
your microwave, just like we perfect our fluff based on our blender. And then once you have your secret recipe, then you just kind of stick with it. Okay, so this is how it looks, Jasmine. Let's Super jump. simple, yeah. right? Then you can add a flex flavor if you want, but just for time purposes, I'm just gonna have it just like this, okay? There we go. And I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for, like I'm gonna do about 45 seconds, but I'm gonna watch it. Um, it's really interesting because now mug cakes are so popular. Have you seen them in the stores? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so check this out. So this mug cake, you guys, I got at the store. Well, I shouldn't show you because it's not good for you. Um, check this out. How many carbs and how many sugars are in that, Jasmine? Let's see. There are 38 grams of sugar. 38 grams of sugar. And 57 grams of carbs. 57 grams of carbs. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a lot. Yes. And how much protein? Let's see. Protein, four grams. Four grams. So our mug cake is going to be... 120 calories, zero grams of sugar, and zero grams of carbs. Well, actually, what? how many carbs are in there? One, three one, grams of carbs, one gram of fiber, so two grams of carbs. So check this out. All right. All right, so here's our mug cake, and uh, we'll do it on here. And you can do it for less time um, if you want to have it a little bit more gooey-gooey in the center, but let, let's just see what this looks like. So a little bit less time or a little bit, this is about like your perfect consistency of a brownie. Um, but if you wanted to do just a smidge less time, you might get a little bit more runniness in the center, but you see how it is, we'll have to let it cool. But there you go. And so this satisfies my sweet tooth. And if you want to mix up just a little bit, I'm actually gonna do this for the topping of the angel food cake. But if you wanted to add just a little bit of some extra moisture, you can just mix up a little bit of brownie batter, just like this. Have you had the pudding just with the brownie? She has. I haven't. Oh, okay. Let's see. All right. So then you just mix this up into like a nice pudding, kind of more like an icing because I want it to pour. So there's a little bit more water. So you just, you know, eye the water and kind of just mix this up. You guys know how to do this because I prefer to eat my food versus drink it. So making like a pudding or a uh, and icing is how I would have my protein if I'm not gonna, right? 57. Okay, can you hold this, Jasmine? Can you hold this one? Okay, so then if you want to add just a little bit more moisture, I mean, how could this not satisfy your chocolate craving? Like, really? Right? Wow. Check that out. Yum. Yep, so good. So then we'll let it cool for a minute, and then Jasmine can enjoy that. This isn't that pretty. <laughs> right? Okay, so we'll let it cool for just a second, and then... So that is, that is epic, right? Like, I mean, if you look at that, where was that? Um, right here. Right here. I, I just literally picked this up at the store because I was like, okay, let's just kind of do a comparison. 57 grams of carbs, and they're trying to promote this as, oh, it's organic. They're not really saying healthy, but they are saying organic. Um, oh, yeah, one minute organic. mug cake. It's organic, so pick it up. It's good for you. Yeah. Okay, so we know how to satisfy that sweet tooth. All right, there, now, I, have a, I have a good little story about this. It's not about it. mug cake, but we were at the grocery store, and this was in Minnesota, and Jasmine's like, oh, I love this yogurt. <laughs> and she's like, I want this yogurt. And my sister looks at it and goes, let me see it. And she goes, and it was like about the same, 50, like it was like 50-something yeah. grams of sugar, sugar of sugar. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my, my yogurt's gosh. good for you, right? Yeah, oh, my like gosh. My mindset yeah. I'm like, you can, yeah, exactly. You're like, but it's yogurt. It's not bad. I'm like, <laughs> no, no. So bad. Yeah. yeah. You, you have to make sure but that it has fruit labels. in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's healthy. It's got fruit. So, Jasmine, as you venture on, make sure you always look at two things. Yeah. Sugar is like number one, and then obviously carbs too, yeah. but I would always look at the sugar, 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 to make sure that it doesn't have a crazy amount of sugar. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Now when you say a crazy amount of sugar, obviously you you live a very sugar-free life. For a lot of people, that's not always the most realistic. So if you were gonna give them a guideline, because there's all these different things out there of no eat, make sure everything is less than four grams or less than. Well, it depends on what, how many servings you're having throughout the day, exactly. right? But I, I do think, okay, beyond looking at what the sugar is, 
go a little bit deeper into what the ingredients are mm -hmm. and then seeing where the sugar is coming from. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, if you're looking at a salsa or, um, you know, something that has like natural sugars in it or balsamic vinegar, you're going to be like, oh, Gina says no sugar. Well, it's actually like looking into the ingredients to see where it's coming from. Yeah, it's is it honey? Is it agave? Yeah. Is it, where, where is it coming from? So yeah, so start Next with step. the sugar and then take it a little bit step further. So baby steps. Mm -hmm. If it's beyond five, let's say no. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know how many times a day, but just be careful because it could add up. You're like, oh, beyond less than five, less than five, less than five. Before you know mm -hmm. it, you're, you're at 25, 30, 25, 30, 30 grams of sugar. Yep. Okay. So let's see where we are here. Okay. I think we're pretty good. Good. Oh my gosh, it's so good, you guys. So did it go to 17 or did you? Um, we are at about, yeah, let's just pull it. Look at this. Let's keep yeah. Yeah. Take a picture of this for yeah. Okay, you guys, so we went about, we went to about, it was about 17. <laughs> picture just of the cake. There we go. Okay, you guys are getting like real time. All right, so here we are. Here it is. You guys see it? Is this not phenomenal? Wow. I'm, oh my God. I was telling Crystal when she, they first got here, I was like, I, every time I make this cake, I'm like, why don't I make this more often? Because it is, it is so easy and so guilt-free and so gene approved. And yes. Okay. I don't know if that was a good idea. I don't know if it's going to pop right out. Let's see. If it's popping, otherwise we'll just use that. Yep. Oh, oh my goes. gosh. Oh, almost. almost. Where's my spatula? Oh, here we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Yay. Okay. So check this out. Check this out, you guys. Okay. Here it is. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cake. Angel food cake. Mm. Does that not look so good? It does. Yes. Okay. It so smells so good. For us on the plan, like we're trying to follow the plan perfectly. Where I keep losing Crystal and oh. uh, Um, <laughs> Then we're going to just have this with a little bit of some icing to dip it in, right? But so for Jasmine, taking baby steps... Take this angel food cake, throw mm. some Cool Whip on there with some strawberries, mm. and there you go. Delicious. Okay? So they're yum, 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 because I'm all about making those baby steps. Okay, so now we are going to have our cake. So this is actually, remember I told you guys, this is two servings. So this would be your dinner. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, this right here could be your dinner. Um, and then here's, isn't that awesome? So two servings, and we're going to split this today. And, um, oh, my gosh, I mean, That's even just example. just taste. Okay, so just, I mean, feel feel this, like the texture, everything. Yeah. So you can have that one. Mm. And then, Crystal, you're going to die. Oh, Check so that out. Oh, my gosh. It's so, so cool. the texture, it's like. So yum. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Uh huh? And then, oh. right? Mm -hmm. This is so good. And then, here, Jasmine, let's put some of this on there. If you want to like ice it, mm. little, oh little, goodness. right? So, who Boys is not enjoying, time. right? You're the only thing with this, you guys, that I will say. Yum. Oh my gosh. So, check that out. And then you make your little icing. Mmm. Oh my god. So good. You, oh, like you put some on there. No, I like. I'm. A, I've always been a. When I so, get real angel fruit cake, I like it plain. <laughs> so good. It is a dead on. Throw some whipped cream on there for your kids, for people that are just starting out. Refuel day. Some whipped cream. These really are still little berries, blueberries, mm -hmm. berries strawberries. Over top. Yep. Yum. Um, yeah. So is that not so easy? So delicious and incredible. I hope you guys have a food processor or mixer. You guys can create this tonight when everyone's having their chocolate, and you can just bust this out and be like, "Yeah, no, I'm on, I'm on plan." So it's so good. I'm so glad that you got to try it. Um, You're wanting to do it. I've been wanting to try it so bad. Oh, one thing I did want to say—that's what I was trying to say—is that it will start to kind of fall. So it's not something that you can make and then kind of wait till the night to eat. I mean, it still is going to taste good, but it's not going to have that same kind of fluffiness. Oh, yeah. So I would try to make it, pull it, slice it, and eat it. It's not something like our zucchini loaves that you can make and store and have later. Again, it's going to taste great, but it's just not going to have that same kind of fluffy angel food cake. Mm. All right? Isn't that delicious? I know. I'm loving it. Really good. Mm. So you can have that. It's like a marshmallow. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here. That's why I'm so quiet because I'm like, what is it reminding me no, of? No, it's like, like a, a marshmallow. marshmallow. It's literally just pure protein. 
egg whites and protein powder. Done. That's it. No sugar, no nothing. All right, you guys. So you have to try that. I cannot wait to hear your feedback. And um, you guys keep crushing it. We are almost there. We didn't come this far to only come this far. Remember that. And I gave you guys your bonus week. So now you guys are set with one more week. And then um, your submissions. I want you guys to start thinking about your submissions. Your before and after. I have your before. So your after photos. And also, more importantly than the photos, are your testimonial. So if you aren't camera shy, please go on camera. Share with me your story. I want to hear your journey. The ups, the downs, the blessings, the things that you, you learned about yourself. Because remember that judging is not just based off of, oh, she lost so much weight. It's all the other things. Your, how much you were involved in our tribe. How much you rooted for each other. And all the things that you learned along the way. Because that's what it's really about. And we're going to keep it going. Yay. All right? All right, you guys. Happy, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Thank you, Jasmine. <laughs> It's weird when you're at the screen. Oh, she's exactly. over here. No, she's over here. Um, thank you for coming yeah. today. And we'll see you again live before you leave. Yes. We'll kind of see where you are in a couple weeks. Yeah. 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 Keep adding those layers. All right, you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Love you guys lots. Give that a try. I'll post the recipe in uh, the VIP so you guys have that. Lots of love. Mwah. Have a great day, everyone.